Hey guys, Bridget Shannon here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if it's the first time you're seeing my videos. And if you are, then please subscribe. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been super busy, but I am excited about the future videos coming up. So stay tuned. Today, I wonder what it's going to be about. Can you guess? By the color? Yeah, St. Patrick's Day. If you are gonna go out for St. Patrick's Day or you just want to wear green and your makeup for St. Patrick's Day. Either way, I don't know, I just felt like having a little bit of fun. Green is not a color that I, I was gonna say wear every day, but I never wear green eyeshadow and um, I don't really know a lot of people that do wear green eyeshadow unless it's for like a really creative look. So it's really a fun excuse to play around with green eyeshadow. So. I'm super excited for how this came out. I was really skeptical and I was like, oh, it's going to look really funky, but I actually feel like it looks pretty glam and the green doesn't look sickly. It's very sparkly and still super pretty and sultry, even though it is a bright green. So, um, I hope you like the look and if you do, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so to prime my eyelids, I first went in with my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Took that on a flat concealer brush and blended it everywhere. Then my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, I went into White Chocolate to go ahead and set that primer. Then I grabbed so Scotch Tape, yes, Scotch Tape. <laughs> Took a couple pieces down. This is gonna help me just get a really sharp line. I know it's gonna use a lot of shadow that might have fallout and I wanted to use dark colors. So just to be safe, I put down some Scotch Tape to make my life easier. And then I first went into the shade Salted Caramel and put that in my crease and just use that as my first transition color. Then I dipped into Milk Chocolate, again put that in my crease and kind of used it as a secondary transition color to deepen it up a little bit. Then I went into the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place with Madagascar and put that all over my lid. Then I took my MAC Fix Plus and sprayed my brush first, and then I dipped into the shade Egypt from the Nubian 2 palette. It's a gorgeous, really shimmering olive color. And then you'll see here I kind of noticed a ton of fallout right from the beginning, so I wasn't going to play that game. I put down a lot of my RCMA No Color Powder just to catch any fallout so it doesn't get all over my foundation and concealer. Then I went back into my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette with Gilded Ganache and put that in my crease to start to smoke everything out. I took a clean transition brush and started to blend, blend, blend. Pretty much half of this video is me blending, <laughs> but it's really super important, especially with darker shades that you really take the time to blend very well. You don't want any harsh lines. Then I went in with Triple Fudge on the outer corner to smoke it out even more. Again, some more blending. Every time you add a new shade or add more color, you definitely want to blend, blend, blend. Then I took my first transition brush and kept blending. I never want to lose my first transition color because I love that dimension, so I just went back in a little bit there. And now I take some more Fix Plus and I went in with Molly from the Masquerade palette. Such a gorgeous, bright, iridescent green color. 
it was perfect for this look. And then to highlight my brow bone, I first went in with Giza from the Masquerade palette, which was very icy. And then for more of a champagne gold, I went in with Zuri from the Nubian 2 palette. And then a dense shadow brush I just used to blend those together. Ah, then I finally took off my scotch tape and wiped away my bakage. And now for my liner, I took my Anastasia Beverly Hills waterproof cream color in Jet. And now I'm using my NYX Shimmering Eye Pencil. This one is in Green Shimmer, go figure. Put that in my waterline and then with a liner pencil and just kind of buffed it out some more. And then I took my NYX Hot Singles Eyeshadow in Dank and put that on my bottom line, my bottom line my lower lash line, you know what I mean. And then with my NYX Primal Colors in Hot Green, just to give it even more vibrancy. Now here I'm just blending them together. And then I coated my top lashes with Tarte Man Eater Mascara. And now for falsies, I used my Ardell Double Up Demi Wispies with my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. And I did that off camera just so it can save some time. Then I coated my bottom lashes with my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. And then I'm finishing up my face here. I'm bronzing up with the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. And then I dipped into the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Bronzed Amber. And now for blush, I wanted to keep it pretty neutral, so I went in with my Wet n Wild Color Icon blush in Apricot in the middle, and topped that off with my Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues, just to give it a little bit more sheen. And then I'm just blending everything together and buffing everything to, into my skin with my Rimmel Stay Matte in Sandstorm. And then I used my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And after that dried, I went in with highlighter. I want it to be super gold for this look. So I first went in with Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. And then I topped that off with Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I know when I think of St. Patrick's Day, I always think of green and a pot of gold. So I wanted to be super bronzed and gold for this look. And then I went in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit with the shade Lucky Clover. It's a super gorgeous iridescent shade with some green flecks in it, so it was so perfect to pop in my inner corner. And then for my lips, I wanted to keep it pretty nude and peachy, so with my Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner and Liquid Lipstick, I used the shade Exposed. This is the finished look. So thrilled with the results. I'm really excited that I just got to play around with green eyeshadow because you really don't get to do that every day. So you should totally replicate this for St. Patrick's Day because it's still glam if you're going out. And so if you don't like to wear green, you don't have to wear green. You can use it in your makeup. I hope you guys liked how it came out. And if you did, please like the video. I'd appreciate it. Have fun on St. Patrick's Day. Be safe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.